Hello, John Neal here again. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are and whatever time of day you're at. Oh, welcome, anyway. Uh, today I'm going to go for another bike ride off towards Bosworth Battlefield Centre. Not all the way there, but past some of the places. I've got my drone, you see, so I'm quite excited about that, which you've noticed. Thank you very much. We've got a gang. We've got a little gang here of commentators on these recent... Uh, vlogs that I've been doing. So I'll go through them. Uh, first on the list is Jim, Jim Broom in North Carolina, who's asked about some of the things to do with Bosworth. Um, and then there's Sisyphus, our Greek uh, rock pusher from Southern California, Ted. Uh, he's interested in um, uh, history and other things like that. He asked about um, George Eliot. Hi, hi Ted. And then there's a lady called Joan in Spain, Joan Martin who's uh, commented a few times. Thank you very much. It's been interesting to hear what you have to say. And um, she said how she enjoyed the fact that it was cool. In fact, today is a bit of a breeze. Um, and I think it's going to uh, help a little bit because it's, uh, it was quite hot. I say hot. I'm saying hot is about 22 degrees Celsius. Today, it's possibly just about 19, which is fine for me. Uh, then there's a, a local chap, Paul Waite, who's um, been commenting of late. Uh, he used to go to the school I went to, but he's older than me, and we weren't there at the same time. He's an, an old Coventrian who lives just south of Coventry, I do believe. Then we got uh, John McClunk, who lives in Ohio. Very good musician is John, and I should say a, a fine choice of um, art as well, because he bought one of my paintings very generously. So hi, John. And then finally, Tom, Tom Krakelius in Indiana. And I've known Tom for quite a while, actually. He sent me a mug when I was properly sign writing and my um, YouTube channel was mostly to do with sign writing and uh, handwriting. But he's sort of morphed off to other things now. So it's the way it goes, it's the way it goes. And you know which way I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go that way. Ready? Let's go. I'm not going to do one of those shaky, shaky, I'm riding my bike and talking to you shots. So I'll talk to you in a while. Well, um, I'm just going to have a quick word here at the top of Heim Lane. Um, somebody mentioned the pyramids in the distance. I'm not in Egypt. That over there is what is called Tuttle Hill. And Tuttle Hill is uh, to do with a, a firm of uh, quarry men. There's quarries all over the place here because this hill line here has got very good stone and rock in it. I think they're going to use it for the new railway. Um, so there's a, still a lot of quarrying going on and of course when you've got quarrying you get small tips of the stuff they don't want and that is one of them and it's a, a local landmark. So it's not volcanic, it's not Egyptian, it's industrial. There you go. Moving on. Those of you who are students of continuity will notice, of course, I've taken my hat off. Well done, well spotted. And uh, oh, this is Stoke Lane, apparently, but it goes from a barely a hamlet, three or four houses, including this one, which looks very nice, um, to Stoke Golding. And it's just a very nice, quiet country lane. But uh, oh, what we got here? Look. I'll tell you, there's a quite impressive fungi. <sighs> Great afternoon, loving it. And as you can clearly see, it's that time of year when the harvest has been brought in. 
and uh, they roll all the straw up and do with it what they will. I'm not quite sure they keep changing their minds. Um, anyway, it's all bailed up ready. See, I told you it was nice. Uh, well, I'll tell you now, I just had a, a very nice chat with a man back there picking up litter. A man after my own heart. And uh, yeah, very pleasant, nice to chat to people. In fact, I go on this bike ride, so I spend half the time chatting to people, which is good. I like it. I do like it. telling you this is a long a long hill it's not steep but it's long and uh, it's also into the wind but then I can get that back because on the way home it'll be behind me and indeed all uphills have downhills it's a bit like life really isn't it only on a bike Approaching my favourite road. I think it's just called the Shenton Road. Was it Sutton? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I like a gate. Times like this, you'd get uh, some wild camper starting to uh, strike up a fire by rubbing two boy scouts together and then cooking up a meal of steak and I don't know, vegetables and all sorts of things. Well, today I'm going to eat an apple. First, the preparation of, take that bit out, you don't want that. That, by the way, isn't litter, that's very biodegradable. And then you just eat the apple. Actually, I'm going to add to my menu because over here there's some blackberries. Blackberry and apple. What more could you want? All right. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> no, not. This is why we call it the Gated Road. This is the downhill bit. Nice. These houses are interesting, look. Great big windows into your bedroom. Curious. 
This is Market Bosworth. And uh, yeah, there's money here. You'd think if they had some money, they'd, uh, they'd get a roof with tiles on it, wouldn't you? This is a killer of a hill to come up, which is why I like going down it. Hey ho. Here we go again. I'm just about surviving. Fortunately, there's no traffic. Oh, somebody coming up the other way. Are oh, you poor suckers? Ha <laughs> uh, <laughs> Best of luck. Yes, nice hill. I was looking forward to that, so that mile and a half. No effort at all. Great. I always found this to be an interesting house with this slopey roof thing going on. Survived. These houses, I don't know what. You see, a lot of these. Um, Country places had uh, estates. There's a big house down here, originally built by an industrialist from uh, Hinkley, where they made underwear, socks, and things. So a lot of the land around here uh, is owned by them. And this is ahead of me now. You can see the start of the the main building. This is the wall. This is just their garden wall. This farmhouse will have been a major part of that. That's a nice looking house. I think this was once one of the main entrances. I think it's owned by an American lady now. But if we look forward, you can see this church was, uh, will have been built in the 19th century by whoever built the big house next door. This is an old farm and uh, now Antiques Centre. We bought one of our pieces of furniture from here. White Moors. Featured on the telly just recently. Look at look at this. I love that. Old barn. <laughs> the railway carriage. I'm gonna pause here for a moment so you can hear these crows. I said I presume they're crows. They might be rooks from a rookery. But they they nest every year in the same sort of place, high up in the trees and they make this noise all the time. I rather like uh, the way the buildings around here in the Midlands, they're all made of this red brick, which is uh, made of the local clay, really. It's really nice when buildings are made of the local uh, materials and have lasted a long time too. All right, shut up now. They always seem to be complaining about something. State of the world, I suppose. Fair enough. 